we got another one, and this time we're black. And let's copycat. He went with A3. Okay, we got a hedgehog guy on our hands here, folks. Maybe not. Um, not sure what his game is. He missed that one, though. These guys who play funny stuff will occasionally miss miss that type of tactic. And now it's not funny at all anymore. It just looks painful. Do I have something that just wins here? Can I? Let's squeeze a bit more and see what happens. See if anything comes of it. Rook d8 next. How things go wrong quickly. Uh-huh. But... Yeah, I w wish I had more time. I could be more accurate here. I just saw this as an easy way to, to trade down and win, give him no counterplay. Easy enough. The, uh, the pawns are good. All right, let's do that. Let's see if he'll take there to try to win the knight. He does, and he loses. Called it. Resigns? Resigns. Okay. So another another quick one. And we have ourselves an English. And when I saw A3, it just confuses me. Because I'm like, does he want to play B4? So I'm going to go G6. So if he goes B4, I can go Bishop G7. Give the Rook on A1 a little tickle. And then as soon as he went E3, I'm like, oh, okay. He is just a, I want to go for a hedgehog type of guy. But then when I saw Bishop D3... I immediately started going, the queen and bishop don't normally want to be like this. You want the bishop in there, pawn on d3, pawn on b3, bishop on b2, knight on d2. So with the bishop on d3, you're ruining the harmony in the position. And that move only works if you've got some kind of threat. You don't. You're biting on a wall here. So that's just not happening. So knight c6, natural move. And knight c3, I'm like, surely he's not going to miss this. And now b3, I needed to, to play b6 to wait to coax b3. The idea is on takes, takes, he can't trade. If I would have done d5 on move 7 instead of b6, he'd be able to trade and would be, be okay. But now, this, this sets up you know the subtle tactical theme here. Knight C to B4. So I get that. Knight takes D3, really. Aha! I see. And the best he has is Queen takes D3 here. That is money. This Bishop A6 idea. He can't run? King F1? It just likes B5. You can't do anything. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay. I believe you. Queen takes D3. It still likes me by a lot. Rook D8 immediately. Okay. Bishop G4 didn't ruin anything. Rook F D8 again. Okay. What's going on with this? If takes. Check. Queen takes c2? What happens if he can't? All right, and if he goes there. <laughs> That's easy to miss, that type of cute mate. Huh. So he's got to take funny stuff. So I went with there, and we still have rook fd8. 
with the same kind of idea. Or he's got to take. But I took here. And it's funny, sometimes you can see blunders coming beforehand. And even knight c2 check would win if, if I didn't have this back rank ish, issue to exploit. Yoik. That was a quick English game, but not much to say there. Your opponent puts your puts his pieces on bad squares. You're able to exploit them. You can play some uh, good-looking moves. That's it on that one.